Hello, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday. How are you doing? Let's see where we're going today. <laughs> All right. Let's see where we're going today. Today on Pathfinders, I am going to give you, start giving you some tools as it relates to your intuitive journey here. Some tools to help you sharpen your intuition. This is going to be a couple of weeks. I'm going to give you multiple tools. So today we'll talk about the first one. And let's see where we go. So that's today at one o'clock. I hope everybody's doing great. Let's see where the reading takes us. All right. What wants to come through, please, for the spiritual path right now? Magic. Mm-hmm. Water. Release. Mm. There's the key. So some kind of feelings need to be shared. All right. It's like release the Kraken. <laughs> Some kind of feelings need to be shared, whether this is in your personal life, in your work life, um, with yourself. There's definitely something that's being bottled up. All right. And the key to uh, getting to this next stage or next step I always, I'm always talking about on your spiritual path, you're asking your guides, like, just show me the next step. Just show me the next step. There's the thing that's blocking it is, is some kind of feeling. All right. You feel a certain way about a person. They feel a certain way about you, or you have some bottled up feelings about a current situation. You can't move off of it until you, um, until you, uh, kind of work through it. Okay. You're not going to be able to just uh, keep moving on. Nope, 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 nope. All right. Underneath the sun, the king of cups. Look at this. The ace of wands. Oh, the star card all reversed. There's nah, <laughs> there's something going on with this deck. I don't do reversals. So we're going to we're going to flip this around. But I will. I do want to say to you that. This, I do, well, I'm, this is significant to me. There's something being blocked. All right. There's something being blocked here. And it's like, everything's fine. Everything's good. All is well. But the feelings, the feelings are being blocked. It's like the next step in this journey is being blocked. For sure. And then we have this eight of cups, right? The eight of cups in the upright. Some of you are definitely blocking your happiness. All right. Some of you are definitely blocking your happiness. Um, there is some kind of idea here, some kind of thinking, some kind of expression. Wow. What are you holding back? What are you holding back? Five of Pentacles and the world in reverse. Okay, this is interesting. The Magician, I'll do it. Let's see where it goes. Let's see where it takes us. Ace of Swords, Queen of Cups in reverse. Justice in the upright. Queen of Swords in reverse. Look at this. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, there's clearly a reason why this is showing up. All right. So, you know, I don't really read reversals for these readings, for these general readings, because the reason why is that every single card in the tarot deck, if you want to learn tarot from me, um, every single tarot card has a polarity to it, has the ability to have the positive and the negative. It doesn't really need to be in reverse. It's about the context of the reading. But when something happens like this, when the deck gets all kind of cattywampus, and I've chosen it. I went right for it. This was something that seemed really loud to me. This deck was talking to me. So I'm going to say to you that there is a an ending that's blocked because of shame or because of a feeling that I can't get there because I don't have the resources. There's something that's being blocked for you. But actively, you're the magician. So I, I feel like this is something you're telling yourself, some kind of story you're telling yourself that says, until I get fully and completely healed, there's no new beginnings, which isn't true. Okay, because 
there's something that's holding you back, some kind of feelings that are holding you back. And like you feel like you have to completely get rid of that. Now, you're going to feel those, you're going to have those feelings. You're going to have that something needs to be shared, right? In the beginning, I said something needs to be shared, but there's a sense of like wanting to kill it or wanting to not have those feelings. Like it's shameful. I don't want to feel this way about this situation. Why am I feeling this way? Right? The queen of cups in reverse. Why am I feeling this way? It's the truth. Okay. It's the truth. I want out. All right. I want to get out of this situation. I want it. It feels really scary or bad for me to say it. It's just the expression of it. And man, we are in Gemini time. Okay. So some of you have to let something out of you in order for you to get right with things, in order for you to be in the upright again. You have to, and this is magician, this is Gemini energy too. So this is Mercury. This is about communication. We do have Mercury moving into Cancer sort of halfway through June. So there can be a sense of like, right now it's about ideas and maybe it's happening halfway through June that there's going to need to be, um, everything's going to need to be righted by the mid part of June so that you can manifest this next beginning. Some of you, it's about actually saying something sometime during June, letting your feelings out, letting your feelings be heard. You're going forward. There's this energy of forward movement with this night with this Knight of Wands. I always see the Knight of Wands as forward movement, but when you look at this, it is kind of looking at these two cards that are in reverse about not learning a lesson and not telling the truth. Somebody has not learned a lesson about telling the truth. It's going to make them feel so much better. Somebody has not learned a lesson about telling the truth. Why is the world in reverse? Four of Cups. Ten of Swords. Six of Cups. Five of Wands in reverse. So this, the reason the world is in reverse here is because it's stagnating. There's stagnation. Uh, you or another person, I feel like, does want to move on into a new chapter, does want to do that, but there's other people involved. And so the reason that I can't say it or I can't communicate it is that there are other people involved. And I'm worried about the impact that's going to have. Ten of Swords, a lot of impact here. So I see you stepping into this new chapter, this forward moving chapter, this magician, justice, knight of wands, very passionately, um, very passionately aligned. But there's something that Once you do this, it's almost, I feel like this is like ripping a Band-Aid off. Once you do this, you're going to feel a whole lot better, okay? The Ace of Swords, it's already true. It's already true. It's not like something is becoming true or something is going to be true once you say it. It's already here, okay? This Ten of Swords, it's already here. Already here. Ace of Swords... King of Cups in, or sorry, Knight of Cups in reverse, the Three of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups in reverse. This is on hold, Four of Wands. Some kind of happiness that you're wanting to create in your life is on hold. Some of you have downshifted into work conversations or um, uh, not really being direct about what you want. This is definitely about not being direct. Someone is not being and we now that we've had we have this ace of swords ace of swords is about the truth but with all these reversals i feel like they're it's being evaded the truth is being evaded the truth is being sidestepped even though it's already here the truth is already here you're putting off some kind of happiness because you don't want to you don't want any sadness right now or you don't want the finality of the communication you don't want that. So there are people around you who have not learned anything. The Queen of Swords in reverse, 
the page of pentacles what is this lovers in reverse nine of wands the knight of swords in reverse and the temperance card in reverse my goodness we're really blocking things here don't want to make a choice want to hold on to being um what is there's a tremendous amount of stagnation in this I don't want to, I'm putting off my happiness or my joy, my healing. What has to come first is my truth of something that's already existing. I just have to say it out loud. And then I can move forward. Then I can make this decision. Then I can, what's justice about? Five of cups in reverse. I don't want any regrets. Ten of wands. So I'll keep on with this. Hanged man and the nine of pentacles in reverse. Lack of lack of um, uh, self-confidence. I don't want any regrets. So I'm going to keep on being codependent. I'm going to keep on carrying this burden. Even though it's like, it's like weekend at Bernie's. Like you're handcuffed to a dead body here. You're handcuffed to something that's dead, a relationship that's over, a career path that's over. You've handcuffed yourself to it. There's something that you don't want to let go of, right? This nine of wands. There's something you don't want to let go of, even though something is dead or something is over. There's always a reason that we stay in a situation. We're getting something from it. OK, we are getting something from this situation. OK, whoever this is, we're getting something from it. And whatever that is, whether it's the appearance of having our shit together, the uh, you know, it's it's definitely about other people. There's there's other people involved. They may not understand or there may be some kind of repercussions there may be some kind of financial repercussions. So give me a bigger picture here. What is this really? I'm definitely tapping into the collective. Okay, we got the summer energy. That keeps coming up. Fire. Okay. Passion. The moon phases. We're going to have a new moon in Gemini on the 6th and a full moon in Capricorn later in the month. Non-duality. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say this to you. I, I feel like this reading is for somebody who is refusing to say it, communicate it, even in Gemini time, refusing to say that the thing is dead, uh, refusing to do that because they only they think there's only two choices. They think there's only this or that. That there's no other choice or there's no other outcome or there's no, it has to be this or that, right? It has to be either fully on or fully off. I just feel like it would be a good idea to connect with your guides, with other people, with with uh, other people, uh, maybe friends, talk this through a little bit. I just feel like you're closing off the options by like, well, it's either total happiness or complete misery. Like there's nothing in between. And whenever we get that kind of black and white thinking, that's very, it's closing off opportunities for you. It's closing them off. Why is this black and white thinking happening? Two of cups, lost that love and feeling, have we? Seven of wands, no good boundaries. King of swords, oof, I don't like that. And the nine of swords, all these things in reverse. Okay, that whole deck is almost in reverse. However, I picked it up. Um, <laughs> ding, ding. We're past the stage where we can make new rules in this particular part of your life. I feel like you're in some kind of cul-de-sac that is basically draining away. Okay, I'm going to shut that off. Draining away your hope, your hope that anything can change. 
feeling hopeless about this, feeling like it's not um, going to um, change in any positive way, but I'm still not ready to give it up. I'm like in this no man's land. Okay, so I'm going to continue on with this reading. I will pull cards for each zodiac sign to give you some guidance. I will shut that off and um, we'll see where we go. The link is below. Pathfinders, let's just keep going. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos. <laughs>